Hey guys. All right, so um, <laughs> yeah, this is a one I thought I'd never make. Um, it's the five things I hate about Seven Days to Die. Now, <clears throat> if you've uh, followed, been following my um, little channel, you probably realize that this is not the normal play play uh, save that I've been using. Which brings us to the first one. Saves. I play Seven Days to Die. I play a lot of different mods, a lot of different overalls. And unless I want to reinstall every time I start, I kind of have to have multiple, multiple um, installs running at the same time. The other day, a friend of mine was uh, wanted to play that I play with. And uh, I logged into my video one by accident. It was under Darkness Falls and it corrupted the file, so I couldn't play it anymore. Okay, that's on me. Um, and this is probably something that might have happened a few times before when I've had issues um, with files getting corrupted. And, you know, it makes sense. But why can't we just put the saves in the directory, you know, in the install so that it only looks there it doesn't look you know to some other place <clears throat> just relocating the saves to the actual install directory would be so much better for things like you know people like us that play so many different versions of it and that brings me to number two hard drive space <laughs> Yep, when you when you play multiple versions, you have to reinstall it like multiple times. I mean, I have a Darkness Falls, I have an unlimited, um, yeah, ult Undead Legacy. I kept remembering it was UL, but I couldn't remember the name. Undead Legacy. I've started playing Age of Oblivion, and it is fun, and it is hard. Now. What if you want the compo pack on those? Oh, that's yet another install. It can multiply, especially if you have different saves with different people across different things like this. Um, yeah, it's just, come on guys. <laughs> if we can make the mod thing easier where you can just check boxes as you log, when you're logged in, you know, something. If not, I'm cool with it. I, I'll continue doing what I'm doing because I, I like to play different versions with different people. It kind of keeps my head from getting too bored with something. The third thing. EAC. You know, easy anti-cheat. Look, I understand you want to use it for servers and stuff. I have it checked so it doesn't load it. Why do I get an error for it trying to check it when I'm logging in? <laughs> yeah, it may be petty, but it's like, come on. Why don't we have a checkbox in our options in the game? I mean, we have that, you know, loader, launcher, that we have it checked to not load it, but yet it still checks for it. It's... Frustration. Annoyance. And then the tutorial. I'm not saying get rid of the tutorial. I'm just saying once you've completed the tutorial once, there should be a checkbox so that you can disable it or skip it or whatever. You know? And maybe when you run into the vendor, that's when you get your four points, not when you complete the tutorial. You know, the, the the quest to get to go to the vendor might be the the final one. I <laughs> I know it's easy, but I don't wanna make a club every time. I don't wanna make a bow every time. Okay, a bow maybe I would make every time, but a club you know, if I'm planning on doing an agility play where I'm going to use a knife and all that. I don't want to. I don't want to make a club. 
I don't want to make grass clothing. Come on. <laughs> it's just annoying. <laughs> and for things like, you know, I mean, right now Glock is doing a, a great little thing where he's doing no crafting. Everything is looting. If he can't loot, he can't use it. He didn't get the four points because he, he, he stuck to his guns and didn't craft in the beginning. If there's that checkbox, he could just check that box. Ran out, saw the trader got his four points. Okay, that might be petty, but it's another, you know, it's just these annoyances. I love the game, and that's why this is, you know, it's I play a lot, and this is the little things that just get on my nerves. I mean, granted, it is only mostly little things. The saves, that's a big thing. And the last one, which is the biggest thing. Whenever anybody criticizes the pun pimps, they get aggressive. We're the people that let your game man. You know, we're, we're trying to, like work with you to try to get things like to a better state stop just getting angry at everybody and maybe you're not getting angry but that's the way it's coming off in your forums you know chill so that's kind of it for the game itself I do have a couple of things that have to do with some of the mods Especially like the POIs. I run into stuff where there's files missing or something's not loading or something. And it literally just brings up a, a dialogue screen, you know, the, the errors at the top of the screen. And I get killed every time because I close out of it and it opens back up. I close up, you know, because it. And, I, and I'm trying to move backwards just to get out of range of whatever it is. You know, it's a POI in the distance. It's just not, something's not loading properly. I don't know if that is Fumpton Pimps or if that's, you know, the, the modder. So I don't want to push that on the Fun Pimps. But maybe if the errors would come up on the screen without you know, making it so that you can't do anything until you either escape out of it or, um, yeah, I think the only thing you can do is escape out of it. That would just kind of help a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, I guess, yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Um, channel's been kind of picking up a little business lately, so I'm pretty happy with that. It'd be really good if everybody could just like hit the like button if you liked it and uh, comment if you got another thing that really just gets under your skin. I'll talk to you later.